Hey, thanks for stopping by Cask and Q or Whiskey and Barbecue Meat. I'm your host, Justin Lloyd, and today I'm going to show you how I made these direct heat baby back ribs. They're smoky, they're juicy, they're tender, and they're coming up right now. So what we have here is just a rack of baby back ribs. Let's get them out of the cryovac. Let's go ahead and pat these dry. Flip them over. Now, some people will say you don't have to remove the membrane. That's fine. Some people will score it, and that's fine too. Uh, today, we're cooking these hot and fast. Remember, we're doing direct heat, and I just don't want this to get too crispy. So, I'm gonna remove the membrane. Sometimes it's tough to get started. But once you get a grip, just go ahead and get you a paper towel and pull that membrane right off. Well, there's a little bit of it. Let's see if we can get this piece right here. There we go. There we go. Now we do have a little bit of work to do. If you notice down here on the end, that's just real thin and it's just gonna burn. So we're gonna go in between these two bones and just square that right up. Everything else looks pretty good. Flip it over. It's a big chunk of meat right here, but they did a pretty good job the butcher did of making that even, but we're gonna just try to even that out a little more because you don't want uneven cooking. That looks pretty good to me. All right, folks. Well, I finally got my old cask and cube proprietary blend exactly the way I want it. So uh, it's gonna be available to the public here soon. Now this rub doesn't have uh, any sugar in it. It's salt, pepper, garlic, it's SPG. We're gonna give the backside a good dose of this rub. No sugar, so it's not gonna burn. It's got a good color. You got kosher salt, 16 mesh ground black pepper, some garlic, and some other stuff. All right, get the end. There we go. We're gonna let this sit for about 15 minutes while we get the old Blaze Kamado fired up at 300 degrees. As you can see there, we have some uh, charcoal from our last cook inside the Blaze Kamado. We're not gonna be using a heat deflector. It's gonna be a direct heat cook. So we're gonna use the old Weber chimney, get some charcoal in there, and then dump it back into there. Now, some of you have asked about my charcoal holder. I've got all kinds of stickers on there. I try to keep it mostly about barbecue, but there's some whiskey stuff on there as well. Let's see what else we got. Ah, that's from when my buddy Hobo turned 50. I think he's about 100 now. Uh, let's see what else we got. Ah, just some other stickers and stuff. So if you wanna send me a sticker, just shoot me a comment. We're using Royal Oak Lump Charcoal. About like that. We have a problem, I've ran out of fire starters. So I'm gonna take a cotton swab with a little bit of Vaseline on it and that'll do the trick. We wanna spread these out kinda of evenly. Get the grate back on. And remember this is direct heat, no diffuser plate. We're gonna run about 300 degrees. First we gotta get these grates cleaned up. So we had some audio difficulties. I'm just uh, telling you right now that the ribs are ready to go on. This Blaze Kamado is rocking at 300 degrees. And we're going to go ahead and put these ribs bone side down. And we'll come back and check in about an hour. In the meantime, we'll make some mop sauce. Hey, sorry about the audio. While we're waiting on those ribs, let's go ahead and get a mop sauce together. What that's going to do is impart an extra dimension of flavor on those ribs. And it'll also keep them from getting extra crispy. For this mop sauce, you're just gonna need a small saucepan, a stick of butter, some Cholula hot sauce, red pepper flakes, and a little bit of light beer. And don't forget some Cask and Q SPG. Did I mention that's for sale soon? Let's crack that beer. You're not gonna need much of it, about half. There we go, save the rest for yourself. Let's go ahead and get that stick of butter in there. If you're not a fan of Cholula, then use your favorite hot sauce. A little cask and cue rub. 
and some red pepper flakes. Give it a little mixy mix. We'll put this on the uh, on the Kamado to heat up. Let's see how this mop sauce is looking. It's getting nice and melted down. Okay, let's go ahead and hit it with that mop sauce. Let that keep cooking. Okay, these ribs have been on for exactly one hour. Let's see what we're looking like. Oh man, that looks really good. Getting a little bit of pullback on those bones. The color's fantastic. Let's go ahead and flip them. Let's take off a little bit of that, those nasty bits from the bone. Here's a little bit closer look. That rub has really done a good job of maintaining color. It hasn't burned at all, and uh, I think it makes the ribs look fantastic. All right, let's get a little more of that mop sauce on here. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Well, we'll make do. one hour. Okay, folks, uh, we are two hours and 15 minutes into this cook. Let's see what these ribs are looking like. The color looks amazing. They're tender, juicy. Let's flip them over. Oh man, look at that color on those things. That is beautiful. So right now, uh, I'm real happy with that. The bones are pulling back. These are pretty much done, but I am going to add a little bit of barbecue sauce that I picked up from Tender Smokehouse in Frisco, Texas. This stuff is phenomenal. So let's glaze these ribs and we're going to let that uh, sauce sit for just a little bit and then we're going to pull them off. All right, I just put it in this sauce pan here. I'm not going to go crazy with it, just paint it on there. Woo, those coals are popping. Do this quickly so we don't shoot our temperatures up too high. Oh man, I can tell the texture on these ribs. It's different than any ribs I've had. Just texture wise, I can tell already because it's a little, it's got a little bark to it. Kind of crunchy almost. Let's get this barbecue sauce on there. Just let that caramelize onto these ribs and we'll be right back. All right, the moment of truth has arrived. These ribs look fantastic. Let's dig in. Man, I gotta tell you, these look amazing. That rub and that direct heat, I think is a winning combination. And I did these in half the time that it would normally take to smoke, to smoke a, a full rack of baby bags. Let's take this one here and see what we got. Oh man, that's tender, juicy, not as much of a smoke ring as I would like. Let's dig in and see what it tastes like. And you know, on second thought, the smoke ring doesn't really matter. It just kind of, well, I don't know. Look, there's a little bit of a smoke ring there actually. Yeah, you can see that. I don't know if you see it on camera, but once I start looking a little closer, it's definitely there. Let's dig in and see what this is like. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so you can see that that is just tender. I mean, it's just absolutely tender, you know, perfect bite through. The flavor is amazing. I mean, this might be my new way to do ribs. It's half the time. Uh, the rub I used, of course, Cask and Q rub, that SPG rub, amazing. The mop sauce makes a difference. It really gives it that caramelized flavor. Um, and along with the barbecue sauce at the end, this is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you gotta try it this way. I like that the crust is, it's got a crunchy aspect to it. So it's kind of crispy on the outside and then tender and juicy in the middle. Yeah. Well, there you have it. That's a uh, direct heat, hot and fast ribs. If you like what you saw today, go ahead and like, subscribe and smash that bell. It's the best way to support this channel and we'll see you next time. Oh, so good.